Welcome to a lesson on solving two-step equations. We just learned in our last lesson that in order to solve a one-step equation, we can isolate the variable by performing one operation to both sides of the equation. To solve a two-step equation, we'll have to perform two operations to both sides of the equation in order to isolate the variable and solve the equation. So for step one, we will apply the addition or subtraction property of equality which means we'll add or subtract the same value to both sides of the equation in order to isolate the variable term. And then step two, we'll apply the multiplication or division property of equality to isolate the variable and solve the equation. So the second step will be to multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same value. And then step three, we'll check our solution. So in example one, we have two b plus four equals 12. So our first step is to add or subtract the same value in order to isolate the variable term 2b on the left side of the equation. So to isolate 2b, we don't want this minus 4 here. So to undo the minus 4, we'll add 4 to both sides of the equation. And now we'll simplify. Notice negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. That's why we added 4 to both sides of the equation. So now we have 2b is equal to 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. Step two, we want to multiply or divide both sides of the equation by a value in order to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And since 2b means 2 times b, so to undo the multiplication, we'll divide both sides by 2. Notice on the left side, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. 1 times b is just b. On the right side, we have 16 divided by 2, which equals 8. We've isolated the variable, and therefore we have our solution b equals eight. And we'll go ahead and check this now by substituting eight into the original equation. So we have two times b, which is eight, minus four equals 12. Two times eight is equal to 16, so we have 16 minus four equals 12, and 16 minus four is 12. 12 equals 12 is true, and therefore our solution checks. Of course, we could also check this on the calculator. We can just enter two times eight minus four and verify we would get 12. Example two, we have four plus three r equals five. Again, step one, we want to add or subtract the same value to both sides of the equation to isolate the variable term three r. So we don't want this positive four here. So to undo the positive four, we subtract four on both sides of the equation. So simplifying, four minus four is equal to zero. So we have three r equals five minus four is equal to one. Step two, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Three r means three times r. So to undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by three. Notice on the left, three divided by three is equal to one. One times r is r. So we have r equals one-third. Again, we've isolated the variable, and therefore r equals one-third is our solution. We'll go ahead and check this by substituting one-third for r. So we'd have four plus three times one-third equals five. Well, notice three is the same as three over one, so these are reciprocals. The product of reciprocals is always one. Of course, we can also simplify. There's one, three, and three here, as well as here. So this simplifies to four plus one, and four plus one is equal to five. Five equals five is true, so our solution checks. Let's also check this on the calculator. We want to verify that four plus three times one-third is equal to five, which it is. Notice in example three, the variable's on the right side, so now we'll isolate m on the right. So again, step one is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term negative two m. So we don't want this 19 here, so we'll subtract 19 on both sides of the equation. Three minus 19 is equal to negative 16. And on the right side, we know that 19 minus 19 is zero. So we're left with negative two m on the right. Again, step two is to multiply or divide 
to isolate the variable term, since negative two m means negative two times m, to undo this multiplication and isolate m, we divide both sides by negative two. Negative sixteen divided by negative two is equal to positive eight, and on the right side, negative two divided by negative two simplifies the one. One times m is just m. So we've isolated the variable and we have our solution, eight equals m, or more commonly, we just write m equals eight. Let's go ahead and check our solution. So we'd have three equals nineteen minus two times m, which is eight. Simplifying, we have three equals nineteen minus sixteen, and nineteen minus sixteen is three. Since three equals three is true, our solution checks. Once again on the calculator, we would just check the right side of this equation here to make sure it's three. So we have nineteen minus two times eight, which is three. Example four, step one, we add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice the variable term here is negative y, or if we want negative one y, so we don't want this positive eleven here, so we'll subtract eleven on both sides of the equation. So eleven minus eleven is equal to zero. So now we have negative y, or if we want negative one y, is equal to thirty-two minus eleven, is equal to twenty-one. Step two, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Negative one y means negative one times y. So to undo this multiplication and isolate y, we divide both sides by negative one. Negative one divided by negative one simplifies to one. One times y is equal to y. And twenty-one divided by negative one is equal to negative twenty-one. So here's our solution. Checking our solution, we substitute negative twenty-one for y, so we'd have eleven minus, and then y is equal to negative twenty-one equals thirty-two. Minus negative twenty-one is the same as adding twenty-one, so we have eleven plus twenty-one equals thirty-two. Eleven plus thirty-one is thirty-two. Thirty-two equals thirty-two is true, so our solution checks. Verifying on the calculator, we just want to verify that eleven minus negative twenty-one is equal to positive thirty-two, which it is. And now for our last example, we want to solve three plus three-fifths x equals twelve. So the first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term three-fifths x. So we don't want this positive three here. So to undo positive three, we'll subtract three on both sides of the equation. Three minus three is equal to zero. So now we have three-fifths x is equal to twelve minus three is equal to nine. Step two, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the equation. Now here, three-fifths x means three-fifths times x. So we might be thinking we should divide both sides by three-fifths. But instead of dividing by fractions, we typically multiply by the reciprocals. So instead of dividing by three-fifths here, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of three-fifths, or five-thirds. Because we have a fraction here, let's write nine as nine over one. And on the left side, because we have the product of reciprocals, this simplifies to one times x or x. If we want, we can simplify. There's one five and five here and here, and there's one three and three here and here giving us one x or x. On the right side, notice before we multiply, we have a common factor of three between three and nine. There's one three and three, and three threes and nine. Now we multiply, notice how we're going to have fifteen over one, which is just fifteen. So our solution is x equals fifteen. For our check, we'd have three plus three-fifths times x, which is fifteen, equals twelve. Let's rewrite fifteen in fraction form as fifteen over one. Before we multiply, we can simplify. There's a common factor of five here. There's one five and five, and three fives and fifteen. 
Here when we multiply, we have nine over one or nine. Three plus nine equals 12, which is true since three plus nine is equal to 12. And because this is true, our solution is correct. On the calculator, we want to verify that three plus, let's put three fifths in parentheses, times 15 is equal to 12, which it is. I hope you found this helpful.